Hi, I'm Ryan Cleethermis, the product manager for Ketotherm Solutions. We are often asked how to set up the Keto Evaporator Efficiency for a freezer. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up the controller for use on a freezer. Because our default settings are configured for freezer applications, a minus 10 degree Fahrenheit room temperature, electric defrost, and mechanical expansion valve, setup is simply a matter of confirming or modifying these three set points from the intro mode and in enabling or disabling smart access. Okay, so you've already wired the controller, now the controller will prompt you for the room temperature. As I mentioned, the default value is minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit, and the rightmost zero will be flashing. If you want the room temperature warmer, press the up arrow, and if you want it colder, press the down arrow. Once you have the room temperature where you want it, press and hold the enter button for three seconds. Next, the controller will then display the words defrost type a couple of times, and then display electric for your electric defrost. You can change this value by pressing the up and down arrow, or if electric is correct, press and hold the enter button for three seconds. The controller will now ask the expansion valve type and display mechanical as the default. If you have a mechanical valve, then press and hold enter for three seconds. If you have an electric expansion valve, then use the up and down arrow to get the correct valve. Then press and hold enter for three seconds. If you use an electric valve, you will have to verify the refrigerant type. The last question to answer is whether or not you want smart access disabled or enabled. Make your selection by using the up or down arrow and then press and hold enter for three seconds. Your controller is now in charge of your refrigeration system. The adaptive defrost algorithm means that no defrost schedule setup is needed. There are a number of other parameters that can be adjusted from the generally accepted industry defaults. I hope this video will help you get your controller up and running quickly and help you make, more, make you more comfortable with navigating the controller from the front panel. For more information, please visit our website or contact our tech support and we will be glad to help.